We are on Rocket League today. I won't be streaming for too too long on Rocket League. Uh, might be moving on to a different game afterwards, but I think I do a little bit. Um, it's coming up towards tournament time. Uh, been having some bad luck in uh, platinum tournament placements, so see how this goes. Probably want to warm up first. Honestly, I'm not even sure how long I'll be playing like in platinum tournaments because like Especially with that bad luck that I've been getting and I'm hitting like top 32s all the time Like I wouldn't be surprised if this next tournament I go into here is gonna be a gold tournament So So I'll probably do that, the tournament, and then I'll probably have to hit up the second chance tournament after that if I lose in the first round. Uh, and then after that I'll probably just do a bunch of uh, casual or competitive games, I don't know. The uh, new weekly challenge just came out, so do a couple of those. Um, and then season-wise, I've actually been pretty good on season challenges. And actually, all I've got left is to get shots on net, I think. So just that one. Otherwise, uh, I was doing pretty uh, pretty well. And we're actually past tier 110, so which is actually a, pretty much a, probably a record for me. Uh, past tier 110 already, so I've got 1,000 credits for this season, and then that'll be able to help me uh, purchase the next season's pass. Though I'm still $13.49, $13.49 in the hole after my first season of Rocket League that you have to pay for, you have to pay credits for, because you can't get credits without paying for them apparently, unfortunately, not like not like Fortnite, you can't just earn the V-Bucks straight from the get-go, but I mean, you know, as long as I continue recycling the credits I should be okay. Um, I might do like one match of like casual before we go into the tournament maybe? I don't know. Not sure. Uh, maybe I want to register for it though. If I'm going to be in free play most of it. Most of the waiting time, the, uh, you know, just the, I guess the waiting room? I don't know. What do you call it? Not 13 minutes. I could probably fit in a match to be honest. So I'll probably fit in a casual match first. The 3v3s, just obviously do it standard. Get the best, uh, that would be the best way to practice. I think my casual MMR is still pretty high. Uh, it's still higher than, probably higher than I should be. I don't, you know, I'm typically, I, you know, I, obviously I'm on PlayStation so I don't have Bacchus mode, I can't see the MMRs, but I would assume that I shouldn't be at this MMR. I'm higher than I should be. Anyway, in any case, you know. I think I saw someone's voice chat going. Did someone use voice chat? Okay. Oh, there is, yeah. Crispy Chicken is using voice chat. I don't know if I want to go into voice chat or not. Um, I just... <laughs> I mean, that's honestly the reason why I have, like, a PlayStation party. Because, like, all this stuff that I'm saying, I don't... I feel like it, it, I just feel like it sounds really awkward to be speaking like this, you know, for my stream, and then, uh, and then obviously, you know, you're playing at the same time, so people are like, what the heck, man, you're just saying random stuff in the voice chat. Uh, I want to go for that, no, someone else is going for it, and they didn't get it, so pop it up, I follow it, no, I can't, I'll grab their boost. Yeah, boost just came back. And we're just gonna get ready. But yeah, sometimes it's a little, it's a little weird. Like I, I know these guys are probably like, at least diamonds, diamonds two maybe. I don't know. So like, I, they're way higher than you know, <laughs> than I am. Like in any playlist. Oh, 
Okay, that's popped over me. Do you have a double tap? I did not I did not see where that was going. Oh, I wanna contest that. Teammate. Yeah, I'm gonna go behind them. I don't wanna cause my teammates any trouble or any more than I have to. Okay, yeah, I'm just gonna knock it down. Let's chase it. Oh my gosh. Oh, there's nobody there. That sucks. That honestly would have been like a golden opportunity for me. And I didn't capitalize. That's up and over me. I steal the boost before they can retreat with it. Oh, it doesn't matter. Uh, I'm going to. Oh, never mind. I was gonna go into game chat to see what this guy was talking about, but he's already left the match. Probably got frustrated at us. Or frustrated at me, I don't know. Uh, okay, that kind of helps, right? I don't have clues to do anything with that. And he missed. Okay. Thank you, teammate. That's honestly kind of my pet peeve right now, is just like getting popped over just barely. Like literally, literally just by an actual inch. Pretty, pretty much. Like they just flip over me by an inch. That's honestly a big pet peeve for me. I mean, I know, I know it's my fault, but like, I still want to like hit the ball. Stay behind you. you can go ahead. Uh, you missed it. Well, you didn't miss it, but at least I can help push it forward. Nice. Uh, you're above me. Okay. At least I can play as a distraction. I don't know. I don't think that's really very helpful, but still. Everybody's very good at popping over people now. Which makes sense, because, like, you know, that's, like, practically one of the most uh, useful ways to get past a defender at this level, probably. Oh, I, I, if, I was, if I was rotated the other way, if I was air rolled the other way, that would have been so good, I feel like. I wonder if that would have tapped in. Why did that guy leave the match? He's winning 2 nothing. Why is he leaving the match? Uh, it up. Keep a wide angle. Nice. I didn't do too much with it, but I'm very proud that I managed to meet it as it flew to that corner of the wall and hit it, and at least touch it, I don't know. Read the trajectory. I have the only goal this game so far in my team. Alright. Nice try, nice try. Uh, I'm gonna hit it. No, I didn't. Well, I did hit it, obviously, but just not the way I should have. You got that? Ooh, good try. Good try, teammate. Uh, I can't really hit this, but I have zero boost. Can wait in the center. Okay. Can I hit this forward? Ah, it's gonna go past. I'm not gonna be able to keep this up. Yeah, it's going down. Nice. Okay. Uh, guess it's coming up to that time. I should probably just register for the tournament. I did get five goals. Well, not this, not in one game, but I only needed one more. 
But yeah, I've actually been I've actually been pretty on top of the challenges this season. Been really on top of stuff. Um, I guess maybe I've just been bored of my other games and just been putting more time into this. But yeah, like I've all these uh, all these objectives not even claimed yet. And originally I didn't want to claim these because I wanted to track how many I wanted to have a better idea of like how many tiers I had earned by myself and not crutching on season challenges. But like I mean given that I'm already past tier 110, so I could grab them. The other thing I was thinking is maybe if a weekly challenge comes up and they say like gain two, gain three ranks, right? Then I have challenges that are like my last resort. If I, you know, I need XP right now. I need to get uh, two or three ranks on this week, right? Then I have some extra backup lines, right? So that's the that's the new reason I don't really uh, I haven't really been spending or um, claiming those seasonal challenges for XP at this point. But yeah, it was it was mainly because. At the very beginning, it was mainly because I wanted to make, I wanted to be able to see for myself, like, hey, how many tiers did I make on my own? Because I think I calculated it was like, um, I think with all the season challenges, with all of the, or with all the season challenges as that gave XP, as well as all of the weekly challenges, assuming I did every single one of them, I think it, that's gonna be able to give you like 82, 82 levels, like for free, like right off the bat. Uh, assuming that you bought premium, right? Because um, you'd be doing 65,000 per week for like, I don't know, a bunch of weeks. I, I don't know the exact number, but pretty much, yeah, you'd be you'd be getting all those, you're getting 65 a week for the, all those weeks, and then, um, what's it called? Your season challenges would probably give you a bunch, right? Uh, all the premium challenges are 15k each. Um, for season challenges, and then you know, and then you got the the free season challenges. But there's like a couple of them now that just give you like rare drops, rare, rare and very rare drops. So I mean, those those are good. They're straight up items, which is nice, I guess. Uh, but they don't help you with your tier, which is, you know, I guess it's okay. But anyways, you know, all of that. Anyways, I did all the ca I I did it in my head pretty much. I. You know, I calculated it all, um, and my prediction was that it would be 82 levels, right? If you did all the season challenges, premium and free, um, and then you did all the weekly challenges for every single week, then that would kind of crutch, that would, that would just be like 82 free levels, right? So, pretty much I, I, I figured I only need to make 27 tiers just by playing, right? The tiers that I need, that I earn just by playing, I need at least 27 of the tiers to be done that way, right? Without having to use season challenges or weekly challenges even. So I figured, you know, that if I don't claim them now, then I have a better picture. I wouldn't have to, you know, I wouldn't have to look back and be like, oh, I gotta, I gotta subtract all of the tiers that I claimed from like the challenges and stuff like that that gave me free tiers and whatever. Um, so yeah, I did I did it for that reason. There we go. Okay, I was just speaking with someone. Um, but yeah, so pretty much it was 82 levels if you do all the challenges and you just need to make 27 on your own. Now, of course, I was claiming weekly challenges because at that point, right, like I bought the, at that point I bought the premium pass because, you know, I figured I need to do, I needed to do the weekly challenges uh, for that week and I wanted to get the premium challenges for that week. So I, yeah, I bought premium pretty much at the beginning of the season and I told myself, hey, this is a commitment. You gotta at least make sure that you do 27 tiers by yourself, you know, on your own, on your own time and just by love, just by XP leveling and just playing the game, right? I gotta at least do that so I can earn my next season pass, which now I have, um, as long as I don't stupidly like buy something off the item shop by accident. Um, and so pretty much, yeah, that was, that was kind of my way of like keeping track of how much more I needed to do at least for the season to in order to buy my next season pass. So I don't have to worry about that anymore, which is nice. Which is really, really nice.
I always like to try to go for a double tap right about here, and that's that's actually pretty perfect. But yeah, like that's that's like the the most n cool. That's I guess to me that's one of the coolest mechan or coolest shots I can pull off at this point. But it's only in free play, right? But yeah, in general, I'm just happy I got my 27 ranks minimum that I had to do by myself. And I got many, I got way more than that to be honest. Obviously since I'm like 115 and I haven't even like claimed like, I haven't even claimed all of the season pass challenges for, um, for stage one of the season. So. <clears throat> Currently have platinum level rewards, which is nice. Um, hoping to get diamond level rewards, but I don't know. Like, what's it called? I mean, I've only been playing since like last September, September 2020. Um, I feel like I feel like I'm improving, right? I, now, of course, obviously, I I don't. Honestly, I'm not even sure if I'm actually even that good, because like. You know, it's it's almost been what is it? Uh, it's it's June now, so I've well, pretty much nine months actually. It's it's literally yeah. I've been playing for pretty much nine months. It's actually June. Didn't I think of exactly nine months today actually? Because September twenty third, twenty twenty, I think is the the exact day Rocket League became free to play, and I was actually able to start playing it. So now it's June twenty third. There you go. Exactly nine months. And funny enough, I've never been in like bronze and silver. Like, I don't know, because I well, I've always like pretty much as soon as I got my first ranking, I was already like gold two, maybe gold, yeah, maybe gold two, gold two or something like that. Um, personally, I feel like I attribute it to like one of my friends that, or well, I don't know. Anyway, but someone I knew back then, uh, they played Rocket League and like. You know, they were they played a couple of like ranked matches with me at the very beginning, and he was, you know, he's pretty he was uh, pretty good in my eyes, right? Obviously, because you know, I mean, obviously, obviously he would look like you know like a pro to me, pretty much, right? Because he's doing all this he's doing all this crazy stuff, and then I'm just like starting the game. So, anyways, I played with him a couple of competitive matches, and honestly, I feel like I feel like he boosted me like unintentionally. And honestly, like after a couple of matches, I was I was even telling him like, hey, I don't know if I, sh I don't know if we should even be playing together because like this is gonna boost my rank and I'm just gonna I'm gonna have a really rough time if you put me in such a high level, uh, just because like you know the game thinks I'm winning these matches right alongside you. Anyway, so I yeah I pretty much I think I started in like gold two, but I've been hearing now that like as soon as someone starts the game, they already have like 600 MMR. So. And I, I don't know the exact ratings, like the exact numbers that correspond to every single rank, but I've been hearing that's around gold one, gold two. So anyway, so yeah, I mean, I'm not sure if I've even really improved that much, given that like I started in gold and then now I'm only in platinum. I've been playing nine months. I'm only in platinum. Like, isn't, like I, honestly, I'm not even sure if it's any good. I mean, mechanically, I feel like I've grown a lot. At least, at least I can kind of say that. And even then, my mechanics still kind of, kind of still crap. So I don't know. I mean, you know, it'll it'll sound super cheesy, and you know, I'm sure many people said it before, but I just. You know, I don't think I'm, I'm not mechanical. I'm not very mechanical. You know, obviously I can barely, I can't really even air dribble. I can't really air drag even. Um, I can just hit stuff off the wall, but like really in terms of like my mechanics, I'm not really, I don't think I'm really plat level mechanics. So, I mean, maybe, maybe I'm a fraud. I'm just a, fl <laughs> I'm just a fluke in platinum waiting to be deranked. And for a little while I was kind of bouncing around plat one and uh, gold three. Am I in a bad server? 
because I just saw internet issues like packet loss or whatever. Uh, can I? S I can't see the scoreboard yet. I don't know what regions there. I think I'm pretty sure I specified that I should be in U.S. East and U.S. West servers. I just don't know if that's like actually where they put me. <laughs> I was playing with some guys earlier, and I think I don't know. I think the host, guy, like our our party leader, I guess he has it on recommended. Um, and then we were getting matched in like South America and like Japan and stuff like that. It was weird. And he lives he lives East Coast, so that's like yeah. I don't know. Anyway, okay, I better focus up. I hope this is a platinum tournament, but I wouldn't be surprised if it's gold because I've just been having bad, really bad luck and uh, getting top 32 the last couple times I've done tournaments. It might even be my fault that I'm losing tournaments because you know, I ain't exactly great. Uh, okay, I want to follow that, but I think my teammates already got it. Okay. Oh man, is that in? No, it's not in. Okay. I feel like I'm just driving in circles. Can I hit that? No. I'm not close enough. Ah, crap. That's going towards us. I just want to make sure I don't hook it into our own net. That's why I had to slow down on that one. Uh, okay. Maybe put it to their corner. Uh, oh, I grabbed the boost. Oh, good, good, good. At least separate the guy from the ball. That's the most important part, I think. Just don't give him a chance to actually like dribble the ball. I mean, even if the ball gets past, gets past you, I feel like. It's still valuable to separate the guy from the ball, right? So then he can't he can't put an extra spin. He can't like try to go for another touch. He can't like put an extra spin on it, or put it up into the air, uh, put it up higher than it was already. You got that teammate? Uh, oh my gosh, I should have gone for that. But uh, okay, I'm gonna hit that that way. Okay, he got the boost. I have no boost, but that is going to work out for us. Good enough. I'm happy now. I'll take it. Yeah. It's, it's these types of moments where I'm just literally narrating everything I'm doing, almost, that I think about and I'm like, I, I'm happy I'm, I, made a, I made a party. You know? Just so that, you know, I can spare my teammates and all these random the awkwardness of being like why the hell is this guy saying all of his random stuff here I'm gonna go for that uh, I'm gonna have to wrap around oh no okay I slowed it down just enough slowed it down just enough hold on I don't want to grab the big boost I've got way too much boost already hold on I'll hit this I almost got another hit on it Oh, come on, let me hit that. No! Okay. Can I tap it? No. That would have been such a good play. Alright. Uh, hold up. Sorry, teammate. I wasn't sure if he was going to bump you. I, I definitely felt like he was going to get bumped. That's the only reason why I went for it. Uh, okay, we got both players on this right side. We'll go up. Okay, that's a, that's a shot. Ah, shoot. Off net. Let me get that boost on, on my way back. Uh, okay, I'll go for it, I guess. Push that that way. Is it going past him? No, not yet. Not quite past him, but... Go to middle. Let me get a boost. That's going to the corner. I'm not the first one to grab it, but there I am. Okay, 
Oh, good. That boost just fell into the perfect time. Oh, I'm sorry, teammate. Ah, I was trying to keep it in. I didn't. Ex I didn't think I was gonna actually be stopping you from saving it. Oh, that's gonna be. In. Ah, crap. I didn't think I was gonna be saving the bow for him. I was just trying to keep it in, though. I didn't know where my, where my teammate was gonna hit it. I mean, to be fair, I was pretty close to it, so. I'm going up. I've, I've been kind of conditioned to just, like, go up no matter what. If, like, if it's... If there's, like, any sort of ambiguity, you know, if, like, I'm a side person and... If I'm on the side and then there's another guy on the side, especially in solo queues, I'll just go for it. Because I've seen it way too many times where we just, like, it's a miscommunication or something and nobody ends up going. Uh, and it just, yeah, it just becomes a free kickoff goal for the opponents. Uh, I want to hit it here, but I was over top of it. Okay, and it is 1-1. One, one. Okay, okay! Why was that guy just waiting there? I mean, I get you don't want to always be, like, accelerating. Oh no, he just got back, I bet you. Was he sitting? Oh no, maybe he was waiting on boost. Why did he just go to the other corner for boost? Okay, well, whatever. I'll get back. Uh, okay, we got one guy kind of late to the party, late to the action. Uh, no hit? No hit. Okay. Definitely thought that was going to be a hit somewhere. Okay, he's up. He's open. Or is it, he's moving. Oh my god. I would not have been able to save that. Well, we won it, so that's good. Nice. That's good. Oh, okay. Well, let's see. Oh, it's still platinum tournament. That's that's great, dude. Heck yeah. Oh, that's that's good. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. I was really worried I'd be pretty much. Oh, okay. I'm still plat one div three in tournament matches. I mean, I've been yeah. I've been really like I've been really going down a lot lately because of the uh, j just the bad luck. But okay, I'm still in the platinum tournament divisions. Dang, I'm looking at my looking at it. I my highest I've been in a I've been in plat two div three. That's the highest tournament rating division I've been in. And I dropped all the way to like plat one div three. Huh. Wow. That's a yeah, that's a crappy situation. Hmm. Oh my gosh, it's another, it's another, uh, what, what do I call it, a pre-made group? I don't know. Yeah, it's another, it's another group that, like, I, I, I don't know, I call them, like, pre-made groups. It's just, you know, the people with custom names, custom team names, right? Like, if they have a custom team name, especially, and then they have custom colors, then, like, you know, like, these guys are, like, uh, you know, they're either, you know, I, I guess most of them are typically pretty good. Uh, okay. Oh my god, okay. Nobody went. Okay. Alright. I wasn't even sure if I was gonna even attack that, to be honest. I mean, nobody went for it though, so that's why I even tr thought about going for it. He's not even using boost on his on his hit. On his kickoff. I don't have boost. Oh my god, it's over him. Oh, okay. Okay. Nice shot. I pre-jumped and went way too high with that. I grabbed that boost wall before you can get it. That's gonna hit that guy. Oh, that's unfortunate. I was trying to intercept him in the air, but yeah, he 
popped it over me. And then, of course, yeah, just an easy shot from there. Alright, I guess I'm going. Yeah, this is like what I mean. Like, if it's ambiguous like that, I don't know if it's myself or the guy on the other side. I'm just gonna go for it in case he doesn't. I mean, hey, if you're lucky, maybe you'll get a team pin. I'm gonna hit that into the middle. Oh, that's unfortunate. Okay. Uh, you got it? Okay. We kinda at least do that. I'm gonna get the hit on that. I can don't have a better hit on that. Oh shoot, I'm sorry, I grabbed the boost. I didn't mean to grab the other boost. <laughs> grabbed three boosts in the span of like 20 seconds probably. All of the boosts on the right side is mine, apparently. I'll push that to the other side. Grab this one. Is he gonna hit it? He's gonna hit it. Okay. I'm too high. I'm heading back. Ah, shoot. I went too far to the left. I, I boosted over to the left a little bit. That didn't help me. Uh, okay. I don't have any boost. Oh, he missed, he missed his own boost. Do they just have a guy that's like permanently in net? I think, oh, you know what? Yeah, Gelato is like permanently in net. Are you kidding me? I was hoping I would pinch that, kind of. Oh, he's gonna hit that. There you go. Oh, okay. I totally thought Gelato was gonna like hit that. I mean, he's sitting. He's sitting directly in that. Maybe did he actually just have to leave for a little while? Oh, maybe he was actually AFK. Just got into the. Uh, I don't know. Okay. I hope Israel's gone. Oh, he's late. Well, now he's back, and then yeah, Gelato's back now. I don't know. I tried to read that and tried to anticipate where that was going to go, and I didn't get that right. Oh, that's unfortunate. I'm pretty sure, yeah, if we, knock, if we get knocked out, it's already past 9.15 now. I won't even be able to hit second chance. Oh, okay, you're going back. Uh, he's going to hit it first. Are you kidding me? I'm gonna... Oh my god, I'm gonna flip. I'm gonna flip. <laughs> oh man. I wish I was... I wish I was better than I actually am. Then I wouldn't have to lose so much. Shoot. I can try to at least push it to this corner. Ah, shoot. Hold on. Okay. I forgot that I don't have a second jump because I used it to fast aerial up to it. Got their boost. I'm gonna hit this one. I didn't hit it. Ah, oh, man. It's all about timing in this game. You could lose, you could miss the timing by like, a, like less than a second. And all of a sudden you miss the entire ball and whiff it. Oh, man. Ah. I think honestly, by the end of this season, I want to have, I want to feel like I have some improvement to show. Like the last couple of seasons, I've at least, I think I've actually gotten season one and two gold tournament winner. At least, I think if I got platinum tournament winner, that'd be that'd be a big milestone. Big, that'd be a big thing. Oh man! Except I'm not gonna be winning it like this. Not like this. Okay, you got that? Oh my god, dude. 
And then I'm trying to hit it by like the smallest of margins and it just ends up I missed the ball entirely. Okay. Our teammate got bumped. Really? How did I not hit that? Oh my god. I think I side flipped. Was I, I, what, I think maybe was I supposed to front flip? I, I don't know. As always, it's not meant to be for me. Ah, oh, man. Ugh, another tournament loss. I mean, it's not really... I mean, I guess it's it's not really, like, unexpected. I actually got really, really close to winning a tournament, like a, a platinum tournament. I got to, like, the top two. And then, of course, as fate would have it, I lost. <laughs> that's just that's just how it works. That's just how it works with me. So. Okay, well, top 16. At least it's something. Okay, no more tournaments tonight, I guess. Um. Hmm. Do these guys know each other? Are they... Huh. They were like completely synced up. They were literally... They were all, I, wasn't, I don't know if it's literally, but... They were practically using the exact same appearance. Okay, well, anyways. Um, two online matches from the Extra Modes playlist and two, three games of hoops in the Extra Modes playlist. Okay. Uh, I guess we can do that. I mean, we don't have to win. We just have to get three matches done. At least, you know, yeah. I mean, obviously do my best. So. Okay. Uh, I guess I'm going. Ah, crap. Okay. I have no idea what I'm doing. I have no idea what I'm doing. Honestly, in recent times, I feel like I've actually had one really good um, hoop skull. And it actually, like, it wasn't quite a ceiling shot, but, like, I pretty much I went up on the ceiling and, like, almost did a double tap. So. I flipped into it. Oh, shoot. Ah, oh, man. I don't need to win. I don't need to win. I have to keep repeating that mantra because I always lose. Uh... Dang. Okay, I uh I don't know. The the protocol for hoops I think the protocol for hoops is to typically let the person who's like centered take the actual shot because of the fact that like, you know it, it's an it's an aerial hit like that. Yeah, that's actually that was really good. Congrats man, good job. Uh none of us are centered. I guess I'll go for it. Okay. I'm gonna grab this boost. Oh man, I don't I don't have the angle to hit that. Oh come on! Oh come on! Yes, it's in. Okay. I was just watching it go off the the outer rim. Just it got barely over this front rim. And I was like, that better be a goal. Okay, I'm centered. I think I'm the one who has to go for it. Ah. That's the closest boost to me. Okay, you got it. 
I'm gonna grab as many boosts as I can. Oh my god, what are you doing? Alright. Right there. Uh, fairly short. I missed! Of course I missed! Uh, okay. Nice. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Both of us went in. And it went in. <laughs> Both of us went up to try to hit the thing off to the side. Nice work, dude. Okay, uh, I mean, I'm more centered. I'll still try to go for it, I guess. Okay. I guess, I don't know. Like, I, generally, like I said, I think it's supposed to be the person who's mostly, most centered. Oh crap. Oh, good save, dude. I was not up for that at all. And I'm not up for that now. But it went across. All of my flaws are, uh, they're, uh, they're, I guess, I don't know. All my flaws make a right. Two flaws make a right. Oh, there it is. Oh, no. Dang, that's unfortunate. Okay, is that in? Oh, sorry, dude. Oh, no. Just pop that up. Nice, you got it, dude. Hold on. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna watch this. Try to watch this shot. Oh, okay. Gosh, I hate it when that happens. I just like, I think it's not that far off the wall, so I can actually hit it without having to use a jump. And then it ends up, it's actually farther from the wall than I thought. Okay, what's happening? What is, okay, you know, I'm, I, I gotta, I gotta back up, back away a little bit. Get a better angle at this. Uh, that's not gonna go in, but it will get us some breathing room for a second. Oh shoot, I'm sorry, dude. Okay, I can't do anything about that. Okay, wow. Nice work, dude. But that's honestly like my um my pet peeve right there. I I literally just drove directly into the bar of the hoop. I hate that. Oh wow, okay. One guy left. I'll go up. Okay, you got it. You, uh, you taking the other boost too? Okay. Uh, that's probably gonna, yeah. It's gonna go across. Wasn't a shallow enough angle. boost while I'm at it. Okay. Uh, that's gonna be out. Grab this. Okay, you got it. You got it. Oh, dude. That's not in, at least. Shoot. I have to be like extra careful when I'm going here. Ah. I had it on the top of my car. I couldn't flick it. Oh shoot. I suck at hoops. I really suck at hoops. It's only for if you're really good on like the walls and air dribbling and I can't do either. <clears throat> I mean I can hit stuff from the wall, but I can't dribble it into where I need to be. Alright, I guess we'll do two more matches, because that's what we have to do. Hmm. This is a good teammate. 
I still remember a very, very long time ago, there was like this guy named like ZX Mo, Z, I don't know, Zumo Sama or whatever. And he was like really, really good with aerials. I think I still, I still have the, um, I still have a replay with him in it. And I remember they beat us like 13 to like, 13 to nothing pretty much, or 13, either 13 to nothing or 13 to one. One of those two. 13 to 1 or 13 to nothing. Anyways, like, he was, like, very, very good at aerials. Like, I remember the whole reason I even clipped it in the in the first place was because... Oh, shoot. <sighs> of course, it goes the other way. Um, the whole reason I clipped it was not because I was actually winning, which I definitely wasn't, but that was literally, like, I figured he could be, you know, indirectly, he could be my guide to all things like area. I was hoping I'd get out faster, but I didn't. He would pretty much be my guide to all things aerial, and it was like the first time I'd actually had like a live demonstration. And I and I used the replay for this too, so I can get a play his player view. And obviously I could look at like pro gameplay for aerial stuff if I really wanted to, but like honestly, like if I oh no, okay it's gonna go away. Um, even if I did that, you know, it, it wouldn't really apply to me very much because, like, you know, I'm not at the pro level. I'm nowhere near pro level. So, uh, oh, I wasn't. I didn't know you were leaving it for me. Okay. Dang. Good job. Got a good save on that. But yeah, ZX Mosama. I actually have to kind of thank him for, you know, giving me a beat down that badly. Like even. What's it called? He was telling me to forfeit that entire match, and I was literally like, no, because this is a golden opportunity for me to literally, you know, go back. I, I think I was, uh, I even, uh, oh shoot, uh, I was just getting used to like the replay system too, and I figured this was like, this is a really good opportunity. I'm going to look at your player view, and you're going to teach me aerials indirectly later on. So, anyway, so he was like, my first look into going off of the wall and hitting a ball. Now, you know, obviously I was trying more, I was trying to look at more of uh, how to air dribble at the time. I still don't know how to air dribble, but um, it gave me a little bit more idea of how to push the ball off the wall and make it so that it's actually kind of close to you. So. I think like that was the, that was the main thing. Maybe I'll even show it. I can even, I can even put it on put it on like after this match but yeah pretty much he was like I used that as like literally my reference of how to set up the ball this how to how to set the ball right he was yeah he was literally like my reference point for the for the for a little bit of how to actually set the ball when jumping off of the wall and actually making it so that you're it's close, right? Like, it's actually close enough to you that you can actually make a jump off the wall and then um, <clears throat> have the ball next to you. Obviously, you know, obviously I still wasn't able to, like, do any actual hits, right? Um, I was still... I think I was still using... I think I was still using the default controls, too. I wasn't even using uh, L1, R1 to roll... to air roll yet. I was still using like hold L2 and then use the controller stick, which is kind of atrocious, honestly. Like, I think he was trying to do something, and I kind of screwed him out of it. Um, is it in? Oh, it's in. There you go. <clears throat> But yeah, like he was he was like the beginning of like, hey, how do I how do I, you know, position myself or how do I set how do I set myself up so that when I hit the ball it doesn't go like into the next dimension and go straight to like the other side of the the other side of the court or the other side of the pitch cuz you know, for soccer. Obviously, I was trying to, you know, get some transferable skills for soccer the normal mode. Cool. Got a goal. Um yeah, so that was pretty much how I was trying to like use that tutorial or use his player view as a tutorial. 
I mean, you know, thinking back on it, I don't watch it very much anymore. I don't watch that replay very much anymore, but it could probably still be a good place to, um, a good way to, uh, uh, what's it called? Oh, wow, he's a tournament winner. Um, I will party up with him. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I am less than a second off of that. Okay. I was going to say I was going to party up with him, but I'm not going to make any guarantees because it's very common that you party up with someone and then um, they're bad once you party up with them. Myself included. So. I have to remember which, uh, which one it is. Let me see. Profile. It's way back in the day. You know, I was... I was I was terrible at Rocket League back then. Um, did I? I might have even put his name in. Uh, as the, let's see here. Oh, I don't even know. Aerial save. Uh, okay, I know it's like a thirteen. Here, thirteen zero. I just called it learn aerials from others. Anyway. But yeah, so pretty much I used like this guy, to to, kind of inspire me of how to set up like my own things. Uh, this guy right here, ZXMO Sama. That's right. I, I knew it. I knew it. I remember his name. Uh, what am I talking? Here. Okay, this guy. I don't remember. Because he scored the majority of the goals. So it was, I think it was 13-0. This one, not a big deal. Uh, was it this one? I'm not sure. I don't remember which one it was. Okay, no, this was just him pushing it. <laughs> yeah, so he was, he was pretty crazy. In hindsight, maybe he was actually like a like a champ or grand champ or something, and like, um, like yeah, maybe he was like a grand champ or something. I think. Oh, was it this one? Was it actually this one? I don't remember. Oh, okay. My teammate already left by this point. Uh. Yeah, I don't know what he was doing. I, I can't remember which one it was, but he did like this crazy aerial on me. Yeah. I mean, you know, he did aerials on me the whole time. But Okay, this was just a, probably a straight goal. Yeah, honestly, in hindsight, I think he was probably like... At least the mechanics look like GC. And the, like the aerial car control and the mechanics, they look like GC. And this, yeah, this was just when I was beginning to learn. Oh, here, I think it's this one. Yeah, 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 yeah. This was the this was the move I wanted to I wanted to learn from him, and especially this setup right here. Like I remember, I remember even I think when I was trying to learn it, I I slowed this down to like I don't know fifty percent or something. And then I remember I I remember noting he boosts right at the corner, and then he jumps off, and that was like that was like the beginning of like how I figured out or how I thought about how to do aerials and stuff like that. I honestly don't even know if that's like how I do them now, like how I managed to get them off the wall now, but uh, that was like the big thing that I kind of wanted to like try was, you know, using his technique of actually, um, actually do, oh, and then this move, this move right here, uh, not this move, but like the next one, right, um, when he goes into the air right here. <clears throat> I, I pretty much I studied this move when he was when he was doing it as part of the replay when he goes up and then he kind of does that in, inner cylindrical cone like this you know uh, let me just slow it down but yeah the inner the inner cylindrical cone that was pretty much like the thing I wanted to look at I have to put it to 50% or otherwise I won't be able to catch the moment he does it but yeah, like it was it was this part here, you know, that he actually went up into the air and did like an inner I call it an inner cone cuz like, you know, the the front hood of your car is like the inner half of the circle. And then he just yeah, he rotates like this. So. I remember I remember having my hand out in front of me and I'm in trying to I w I would try to like figure out how would you get your car to rotate like that? And you know, 
I didn't realize it was like such a smooth motion that you all you have to do is like hold air roll and um and then hold your controller stick in the other direction right just like rotate your car left as well as air roll uh the other direction but pretty much i th i thought it was like you air roll right a certain direction and then you would have to like pull i don't know pull to the uh, pull the other direction and then push forward to keep like that angled right to, to keep yourself from actually getting vertical I don't know. I thought it was like a three-step process. And then I think I found it by chance in free play. Like I just held down air roll and the controller stick. And then I saw myself doing an inner cone like that. I'm like, oh, that's how you do it. So, but yeah, it pretty much goes on like this. I honestly don't even know what rank he is. I feel like I want to actually find that out. I don't know. I'm honestly interested. I never, I never actually looked it up, but uh, okay, yeah. So he's champ. He's like champ two, champ three. Okay, that would explain it. And then hoops, he's like diamond three. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. So he's yeah. So he was like very very high. I don't know if that was his rank. At this point, I mean, maybe, you know, at, at least maybe at this point he was like Diamond 2, Diamond 3. So, I don't know. But yeah, like this was, this was me at like, probably, even in ranked competitive, I was probably like Gold 1 or 2, right? And, you know, now that I look at this, yeah, he, like this guy is champ, like Diamond, Diamond 3 champ kind of thing. So... Yeah, okay, and then this is like a combination of them. I think he did he do the same thing here. Uh, he, he pulled it here, and then I'm gonna put a 50%. Then he boosts right here. Yeah, he boosts at, yeah, that was, that was the big thing. I always noted that he boosts just as he was hitting the ramp up, right? So, yeah, he boosts as he's like kind of going into the wall, transitioning into the wall, and then he's next to it so he can keep it close to him. As he is. And then this was the other part. I was like, hey, how does he do that inner cone? So. Honestly, I feel like that is how I like I, I actually tried to practice it and I actually managed to get the ball like to be close to me. So I actually managed to get it kind of close to me. Yeah. I think especially with like some of the packs where some of the training packs where they just allow you to like play around with it. So. So honestly, in a way, I kind of like that, like that was, that was my thought is like one day, maybe I, maybe in a long, you know, long time, a long time away in the future, I could literally like, you know, send him a message or something. I don't know. I probably won't, but you know, I could send him a message and be like, hey, a long, long time ago. And I have the timestamp because of the replay. It'll be a long time ago. You beat my, you beat me down 13 to nothing, but I have to, I have to credit many of my, you know, aerial mechanics or ability to go off the wall, you know, from you. That was, you were my, you were my starting point. So in a way, I almost like, yeah, I, I feel like I'm kind of grateful to him that he kind of like did all that because then I got to see all the mechanics, right? And that was partially the reason I didn't want to forfeit, right? He, like, he, he was telling me, oh, forfeit, dude, you know, you're wasting your time. But I didn't want to do that because like, I mean, I still don't, I'm still not perfect at like th doing this type of stuff. But, you know. Like, yeah, I still have a lot to learn in terms of actually doing it like this, but I can actually like keep the ball close to me when I go to do the uh, when I go and try to do a wall to air dribble. I don't know, or at least hit the ball another time. You know. But yeah, that was literally like where I started. I honestly don't even know where we got onto this tangent. I, I mean, I, obviously I talked to myself pretty much because practically nobody's watching <laughs> at this point. But yeah, you know. Still, I don't know. Like, I mean, I might not use exactly the way he was using to get his aerials, but still, like, 
you know, he was like the first, the first strategy I tried of how to get aerials done. And I think I actually did manage to like, I, in free play of course, I did actually manage to take it off the wall like that. So I did actually manage to go off the wall, have the ball close to me as I hit it off the wall. So I could actually like, you know. So I could actually like yeah, take a shot. I don't know. But yeah, that's pretty much the story of uh, you know doing aerials, or at least the start of my uh, experiences doing wall, you know, coming off the wall into an aerial hit. So anyway, enough of a tangent. Uh, that was a pretty long tangent, but you know. But hey, yeah, it's it's fun to reminisce on that type of thing. So, like, damn, dude. do one more hoops match that'll get us the last bit I think if I'm gonna go for diamond rank rewards for this season I'm probably just gonna have to try and do it in like rumble or drop shot and even that it's like RNG so. Wait, hoops is like completely out of the question that's not gonna happen for me oh good try good try Oh, shoot. Oh, is that in? That's in. Haha. <laughs> nice. I'm happy with that. Um, okay, I'm more centered. Oh, he's asking me to go for it. Okay, there we go. Oh, come on. Oh, nice. <clears throat> Pretty much just 50 with him. Oh, it barely hit the rim. I knew, I think it was, I knew it was close to the net. I didn't know if it was actually there. Oh, he's going for it. Okay. Ah, shoot. I was trying to pop it. Nice, dude. Okay, at least I can push these guys away. Ow. Uh, shoot. Okay, uh, teammate, that's yours. Nice. Oh, that's, is that, that's not going in yet. It's going to? Okay, uh, not enough height. I'm close, not there yet. Oh shoot, uh, kind of wanted a fast aerial, made my decision too late. Oh shoot, sorry dude. Oh what the heck, oh okay, is that, is that like a strat? Oh, okay, oh no I hit him, I can't get that backboard hit. Kind of wanted to go up. That would have been if I could have done that. Oh, come on. No, too far, too far, too far. You got that? You got that, teammate? Oh, that's too far. Two left. Oh, come on. Did I? I just did that. Oh, no. But not enough. Still not enough. Okay, I think we're actually hitting plat hoops games. This is actually is starting to feel like a plat, plat hoops game. Like I mean, I was just in gold three that last match, and these guys actually seem like they're quite able to save shots. So, I knock that guy away. Okay. <clears throat> I mean, we still have messy screw ups, but it does feel like oh crap! It does feel like I'm able to. We're more. You know, we're more capable of popping, popping it up. You know, getting. 
the shots closer to actually hitting the net and stuff, or hitting the place we needed to be. Oh no! It's getting boost. Ah shoot! If I was gonna go for that, I should have gone lower. I should have went for the jump lower. Oh, that's good, dude. Darn. <laughs> nice. <laughs> they had to crash through me. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, that's good. Ugh, that's gonna be. Oh, it's passed. That's not gonna go through. No. Ah, still at the rim. Shoot. Sorry, dude. Oh no. That's bad. Ah, shoot. I had a bad feeling that was gonna be bad. Um, I think. Oh, I'm more centered. I guess I'm going. Grab that boost over here. Oh no, dude. Oh man, what is happening? Oh, that's close. I don't think he got enough power to actually hit it in. Yeah. You got it, dude. I'm getting out of the way. Ah, shoot. That's not in. Oh man, that's bad. Nice. You got it, teammate. Oh, let's go. <laughs> oh, that's gonna be off. Man, we are trying to, we are setting up, but not getting anything off of it. Honestly, and then this this place feels very claustrophobic. Or this this is play, it feels like a tight arena. Oh, come on. Is that it? That's it. Nice. Nice, dude. Um, I don't know who's going for this. I'm just going to go for it anyway. Oh, that was pretty dang close, I think. Okay, I'm looking okay. Nice, it's safe, dude. Holy. And I'm only MVP because I had all the freaking goals. Alright, we are done with hoops. <clears throat> okay, yeah, see, yeah, yeah. So we're probably around Platinum 1 at this point. That guy's a Plat 1 in hoops, and those guys are Gold 3. And we won! So probably, yeah, probably just breaking into Plat 1 with hoops now. I don't know how many matches I am into hoops uh, before I actually get a ranking. Uh, what is this? Eight out of ten matches, and then I'll actually have a ranking. Okay, let's grab this last challenge. There we go. Okay, weekly challenges. And today's Wednesday. Weekly challenges all done in the first night. That's good. We are on top of things, and we're almost pretty. We're pretty close to done getting shots on goal. I guess just for, uh, just for, yeah, just for old time's sake, I'll do a competitive match. Now he's sensing the standard 3v3. Honestly, never thought I would have come back to talking about ZX Mosama. I don't, I, I don't know what to call him, Zumo Sama. Anyway, yeah, never thought I'd be ever coming back to talking about him. I mean, obviously, I knew it, like it's it's something I know about. You know, that's how I learned my aerials, but or at least learned how to set up my uh, set up some sort of aerial hit. But yeah, I never, never really thought about it. I don't know. Wonder how he's doing. 
I wonder where he's at. Oh man, that was almost a double tap. That was a double tap. All right, another brief interruption. I didn't get to focus on that. I think I just went out too far. All right, I'm going up. Got my one. Stalled in the middle. Can somebody get that? Okay. Uh, I was gonna go mid left, but oh my god, I missed back left too. I don't want him to get boost. I don't want their team to get boost. So, okay. I'll hit it. Oh, you hit it. Okay. You got it. Okay. Oh man, I should not have gone up. Oh, that's nice. Oh no! Come on, dude! Pre jumped the save on that one. Uh, he's gonna beat me to it. Put that across. I'm gonna go far side. Grab. Oh no. I was gonna say grab boost and come back, but. I missed the boost. <laughs> uh, be here. Okay. Distraction. Faking. <laughs> oh, you've got that. Come on. Oh, no. He had no boost. Teammate had no boost. Okay, that's on the ground. There you go. There you Wow. Okay. Cool. Nice. That's nice. That's a little bit unfortunate, but oh well. Here we go. Go again. Okay, I wasn't. I didn't know you were going. So a little bit of a wave dash action right there. Can somebody get that? Oh, good try. Or good. Actually, well, he still saved it. Okay, uh, he's gonna get a clean shot, I think. Okay, he missed his centering. Nice, good job. Are you up for it? I probably shouldn't have gotten up there. I probably made him think I was gonna hit it. Ah, uh, okay. They have a season three tournament winner from Dime for Diamond Tournament on their team. Uh, what the heck is a Diamond Tournament winner doing down in Plat One? Okay, Plat Two maybe because I think I'm Div Four. Plat One, Div Four, I think. So I'll at least give them leniency. It's Plat Two. Okay. Oh my God, no, no. Ah. Uh, Dang it! Ugh, I really thought we were gonna tie it up on that one. Okay. I... Mm, I don't... I don't use my momentum well. Was that intentional? I mean, it looked mighty intentional, but I, I get it, I guess. Hmm. I guess I'll still play it out. Okay, can someone... Oh my god, I... I thought someone was going to follow me with it. Or follow it with me. Uh, 
Ah, that's a little unfortunate. Hmm. That sucks. Oh, it's toxic, guys. Okay. They're toxic players. I see, I see. I guess it's as I expected. It's kind of weird how he's plat one, yet he's a diamond tournament winner. Oh well. Well, I guess that will uh, uh, end it off for me tonight in Rocket League. So. Yep, I guess uh, until next time. <sighs> Man, loss after loss. But at least we're getting stuff done.